think uh, lately you have come up with a lot of new things and uh, any one of those techniques would help them would be good to just uh, shed some light on them. We'll offer this to you in stage by stage because pandemic is on. First concern is how to perk up the immune system. Today's studies have been done in uh, Harvard, Harvard Medical School to show how this simple process called Simma Kriya enhances your immune system and also improves your lung capacity and definitely alters the way oxygen distribution happens in the system and uh, maintaining your oxygen levels and keeping your immune system is the most important thing that you do need to do right now. For this, you must start Simha Kriya. And there's another process called Yoga Namaskar, which is uh, very, very vital to activate your neurological system to a certain level of exuberance. Neurological exuberance, what it means is, entire... See, human experience is far more rich compared to the experience of other creatures on this planet, essentially because our neurological system is far more evolved. So people are trying to get their neurological system up either by drinking a coffee or, uh, you know, sniffing cocaine or something else because they understand by invigorating the neurological system, an exuberant experience happens. Here we will teach you something, if you do it for a few weeks, you will see your neurological system is up naturally and your whole experience of life is so exuberant. We are right now, for this particular event, we are focusing on four simple practices. So one practice mainly aimed towards upping the immune system. Another process aimed towards creating exuberance in the neurological system. Another practice to increase the oxygen levels in the blood flow that is happening in the system. And another practice to give you equanimity of mind. When I say equanimity of mind, you must understand that essentially, people are using one dimension of their intelligence, which is called as intellect. See right now, how many complex functions are happening on your cellular level? How much chemical activity is happening? How much neurological activity is happening? Are you doing this all consciously with your thought? No, your intellect cannot do this. There's another dimension of intelligence, which is sweeping through the system and doing everything that needs to happen. Only small things you must manage, rest is all happening naturally to you. If you access this dimension of intelligence, life will become a play, not a struggle. For this to happen, there are two problems. One fundamental problem is your identification with the body. Another fundamental problem is you create a whole world of your own in your mind. This essentially means you were given this body and this mind so that you can live in this world in the best possible way. But unfortunately, you don't live in this world, you create a whole new world of your own. And this world... <laughs> you, this world goes bad means, you must understand, it is just like a dream. What is happening in your head is your dream. If you can't manage your dream well, what the hell are you going to do with life? Life has too many ingredients. Your dream has just you. You can make it happen whichever way you want. Your thought, your emotion should happen your way. For this, we will have a simple Kriya called Isha Kriya. I want all of you to at least invest forty to... forty minutes to sixty minutes a day for your well-being, for physiological and psychological well-being of who you are, because without this, your job, your family, your money, your earnings, all these things will mean nothing, nothing at all. So we will give you the necessary tools. But the problem with the tools, you know, <laughs> is it works only for those who use it. That's the only problem. <laughs>